life is about fighting. And Myanmar can tell you a lot about it. Despite the fact that every government does not recommend traveling to Myanmar, I've been living in Myanmar for about a year now. And this is my experience living here. By the way, don't mind the bet. Let's just go into the video. And I guess I can say that I'm lucky. Although there is fighting, actual fighting, life in Yangon seems normal. Power cuts, bro, every single day. But now it's not that a big of a problem for me. I mean, it was never a bigger problem for me. But now I'm just used to it, so it's easier for me to just ignore it and wait a little bit longer. Usually I have battery on my phone or on the computer, so when the light goes off, I can still use them. The problem is just Wi-Fi that it goes off anyway, and then you have to wait for it to load. At the end of the day, you just have to wait. I mean, it is what it is. Nothing you can do to change it. So just waited one minute and waiting just one minute is a privilege many people spend hours or days without electricity so i just have to be thankful for what i have and by now what i should have is your like in this video thank you for that so the weather is pretty good i don't really mind a lot when it's raining too much like the raining season it really rains but as long as i keep in mind that all year long i'm gonna be wet one way or another if it's not because it's raining, it's because it's too wet and I'm sweating. So I'm expecting to be wet or to get wet anyway during the whole year. Which is not really a problem for me because I'm coming from a hot place as well, a tropical island. So I'm kind of used to this weather, which is pretty good for me. One very important lesson, watch out for the scammers. Not everyone offering to change your money is trustworthy. But now that we're talking about money, dollars, well, you have to make sure your money is just as crispy as new just let me show you something this is what i want to show you if the bill is not brand new just like this some people will not exchange it or they will not even accept it to change if you, you need to have a hundred dollars fifty dollars or twenty dollars far as i know if you don't have that they will not change it and even this one i think they would not give me the full price for it only because, I don't know if you can see, but it has a little things on top and that's enough. In other words, they have to come straight from the printer or you might just have to keep them in a book for the whole time. But when you change this, you get something like this, which is really old and just like uh, normal builds, like they are used, they have to be used and then they get old like that. I don't know what's the reason, but I think this is the only country where they do that. They pay, give you less money for the money that is not new. And then they give you the money that is really not new. Anyway, if you know why that happens, please let me know down below. So really quick, I'm going to do some changes on this channel. I'm not going to be posting on a Sunday every time. Now I'm going to be posting any day, any time. The second is that I'm going to be putting more work into my videos. I don't work too much on them because I work full time, six days in Myanmar, and that takes me a lot of time. So I'm gonna get an editor, someone to edit my videos, so it's the last thing that I have to do so I can put more work into the videos. The third one is for you. If you want to be part of my next video, if you want to come to tell your story or share something on my video, I would like to invite you. My email is down below, just contact me. In all this time that I've been here talking to the camera, you have not liked this video yet. It's a good time to do it now. So if you want to watch the video about my first impression in Myanmar, make sure to watch this one here and see you there. Thank you for watching.